commodities uh, staged a fantastic rally on Friday last week um, as metals to energy everything uh, gained. Uh, let's understand what supported the rally and whether this rally will continue in the week in this uh, fresh edition of uh, Commodities Weekly Audio Cost. I'm your host and guide Ravindra Rao from Kotak Securities uh, Commodities Research Desk and I welcome you all to this uh, Commodities Weekly Roundup. Commodities traded weak for most of the uh, most of the last week and uh, at one time it looked like majority of the commodities will close the week in red, especially the metals. The US dollar started the week on a positive note after it staged a relief rally um, in the fourth week of October. Hawkish Fed supported the dollar's rally as the US dollar index reached a high of 113.14 on Thursday last week. However, as it reached um, uh, as it reached uh, 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 resistance point, uh, rejections were seen at the higher levels. Then came first Friday of the month, which is looked up by traders um, uh, for the payrolls report from the US. Although the non-farm payrolls, uh, that is NFP print, uh, uh, showed a better than expected uh, numbers, uh, the gains slowed in October as jobless rates increased. The unemployment rate rose to 3.7% and reversed its September decline to 3.5%. The mixed to disappointing NFP print uh, pressured the dollar, which tanked 1.82% uh, on Friday to close the week at 110.87. On a weekly closing basis, dollar index um, uh, gave up all the gains and closed fat, flat with a mild gain of uh, 0.11%. Additionally, commodities also got a support from renewed speculation that China is set to ease its zero COVID-19 policy stance. Focus will now turn to the inflation data and uh, uh, inflation data from US and China, uh, which is due to be released in the week. Consensus is for a moderation of US CPI to 8% annually. Any print that is more than the expectation might cause traders to increase expectations that Fed's aggressive stance would continue and that would be positive for US dollar and vice versa. On the technical front, uh, US dollar index, or uh, uh, widely as widely said, uh, DXY, has been penetrated the 52 DMA support near 111.09 uh, and has closed below the same. However, the price might uh, might find support near 109.50, which the bears have failed multiple times uh, uh, in breaking. Uh, having said that, uh, DXY will have to break 109.50 on a daily closing and should sustain uh, for a sustained down move. Coming to commodity specifics, uh, precious metals gained on Friday, reversing the entire uh, week's loss and closing the week with solid gains. Comics gold gained by 1.93%, whereas silver rose by a whopping 8.55% on weekly closing basis. Gold was under pressure in the first few sessions, weighed down by Fed's hawkish stance and uh, persistent decline in the SPDR gold holdings to fresh 31-month lows. However, Friday's fall in US dollar after mixed um, uh, to negative payrolls report uh, that indicated slowing pace in uh, job addition supported the yellow metal that rose to three weeks high of $1.1686.4 an ounce. On the fundamentals front, uh, World Gold Council in its latest quarterly report said gold demand um, uh, excluding OTC in uh, Q3 was 28% higher year on year at 1,181 tons. Year to date, demand increased 18% versus the same period in 2021, returning to pre-pandemic levels. Central banks bought a record 399 tons of gold in Q3 of 2022, helping to lift global demand for the metal. Demand for the bullion was strong amongst dwellers as a price dipped amid a stronger US dollar. US CPI data next week will be the major focus um, and any increased uh, print as against the consensus might once again put a downward pressure on the yellow metal. On the price front, um, uh, Comex Gold is close to 52 day uh, uh, moving average resistance near dollar sixteen eighty seven per uh, an ounce, which is also coinciding with the f- um, uh, falling trendline resistance. A break on closing basis might give the bulls the required edge to take the price to the next resistance near dollar seventeen forty an ounce. Immediate support is near dollar sixteen forty six an ounce. On the MCX, a December contract uh, uh, has respected the two fifty two day moving average support near fifty thousand one eighty and uh, has moved higher. Immediate resistance is pegged near 50,930. 
close and sustenance above that might push the price towards 51390 followed by 51670 in case of comic silver uh, finally the price has breached the resistance near dollar 20 an ounce and has closed well above that the bulls might now target dollar 21.50 an ounce which is the trend line resistance the next resistance is near dollar 21.80 which is the 252 day uh, moving average resistance earlier resistance of uh, $20 would now become the support on the mcx price is approaching uh, the 252 day uh, moving average resistance near 61200 above that above that uh, the price might hit the early october high near 62400 Coming to energies, uh, crude prices jumped to uh, two-month highs, buoyed by a decline in stocks despite uh, the uh, SPR release from the US. Uh, fears of uh, potential tension between Saudi and Iran and hopes of reopening of uh, Chinese economy. Despite global growth concerns, market chose to focus on tightness concerns ahead of uh, OPEC supply, OPEC plus supply cuts, and EU sanctions on crude oil, which will be effective uh, December fifth. OPEC plus production cut of uh, of of crude by uh, 2 million barrels per day started from November that has added to a bullish sentiment in um, oil prices additionally speculation that OPEC plus could further intervene in the markets might support the prices going ahead on charts WTI crude oil is moving in a rising wedge approaching the October high near $93.60 which is also the 252 day uh, moving average resistance During October, also the prices tested the 252-day uh, DMA and then fell. Uh, if the same action repeats, we might see WTI crude prices re- uh, retreating from an dollar ninety-three point sixty per barrel. On the flip side, if it sustains above dollar ninety-three point six zero on closing basis, the upside might extend till dollar ninety-five, and in extreme case, it might move to ninety-seven point five or dollar. Similarly, on the MCX, uh, uh, MCX crude for the uh, front month is approaching a resistance near seven thousand seven hundred, seven thousand eight hundred band. The bulls need to keep the price above seven thousand eight hundred for a sustained up move. If not, then the prices might fall from the mentioned resistance uh, towards the support of seven thousand three hundred, which is the two fifty two day uh, moving average support. Finally. Um, Uh, base metals uh, gained uh, momentum um, uh, last week on hopes of a chinese reopening after uh, unverified reports of formation of a reopening committee in china aiming to relax covid uh, rules in march 2023 markets largely ignored a weak economic data from china and fears of more restrictions in china amid rising covid cases lme copper was the biggest gainer in the pack and closed near 6 weeks high at dollar uh, 8133 per ton as further rally was supported by reduced operation at uh, las bembas copper mine in peru and decline in uh, lme stocks to the lowest since april on the price action front uh, mcx copper has moved out of a symmetrical triangle giving an upside breakout if the breakout sustains the upside might extend till 725 which is the 252 day uh, moving average resistance support now is pegged near 651 which uh, is 52 day uh, moving average support Focus this week. This week will be on uh, U.S. CPI figures for hints uh, on Fed's policy stance. CME uh, Fed fund futures show traders remain divided on a possibility of a 50 or 75 basis point uh, rate hike in December. Midterm U.S. congressional uh, elections uh, next week uh, may add on to the volatility in the market. Uh, so this brings us to the end of this uh, commodity audio cast. Hope you all have a great and safe trading week.